The addition and subtraction of complex numbers is one of the easiest mathematical operations that you can do. Please take note of this. You can only do the addition and subtraction of complex numbers in rectangular form. This means that if you are given complex numbers in polar form, you have to convert them to rectangular form before you do the addition and the subtraction. The process is as simple as you add the corresponding parts of the complex numbers. What I mean here is you add the real parts of the complex numbers and you also add the imaginary parts of the complex numbers. I think let us do an example just to illustrate this. I'm going to add two complex numbers. So let's have the addition and the subtraction. It is actually the same thing, whether you are adding or subtracting. Uh, let us say here, simplify, you may be asked to, you may be required to simplify. The question is simplify and you are given Z1, let's say you have Z1 here, which is a complex number, is 2 plus 4J, this is 2 plus 4J. Then you have another complex number, Z2 which is 6, so you have a 6 here, minus 2j, 2j. I can use i, I can use j, it is the same thing. Uh, z1 and z2, the real part of z1 is the 2. The real part of, of, of z2 is 6, and the real part of, the imaginary part of z1 is positive 4 and this one is minus 2 so we're going to do both operations addition and then we also do the subtraction let us start with addition z1 plus z2 z1 plus z2 is equals to i'm going to use brackets 2 plus 4j plus 6 minus 2j. All I have to do is to add the real parts together and I also add the imaginary parts together. But you can simply open the brackets. So you have 2 here plus 4j plus a 6 minus 2j. I just opened out this bracket. Now I can group the like terms together. So this is two plus six, then plus four J minus two J. Our final answer is just two plus six, that is eight, four J minus two J, we get plus two J. This is our answer for Z1 plus Z2. If we want to do Z1 minus Z2, which is subtraction, let me clear my, this part here of the board. All right, let's, let us do the subtraction. Z1 minus Z2, Z1 minus Z2. The approach is the same. Uh, 2 plus 4j, I put in bracket, 2 plus 4j, I put in bracket, minus 6 minus 2j, I put in bracket, I open up my bracket, so this is 2 plus 4j, and the minus here is, sub, is, is multiplying everything in the bracket, which means we get minus 6 plus 2j. From here we combine the like terms, so we have 2 minus uh, 6 which is the root part plus 4j plus 2j. Our answer is 2 minus 6, we get a minus 4. So this is minus 4. Then 4j plus 2j, we get a 6j plus 6j. That's it. This is how you add and subtract complex numbers. If you are given the complex number in or the complex numbers in polar form, you have to convert them first to rectangular form before you do the addition or the subtraction. 
if you have forgotten how to do the conversion check the video that i put in the description below and then you can learn how you convert from rectangular form from polar form to rectangular form or vice versa otherwise thank you for watching the video subscribe to the channel and give the video a thumbs up